we get the question often, should I republish my LinkedIn newsletter and use that very same content also on my company's blog? Now let's understand first why someone would ask that. It's because they understand, probably by listening to our content, that when you publish a LinkedIn newsletter, you have a twofold approach to benefits to your business. The first is of course the LinkedIn newsletter gets emailed to the inbox of all your subscribers that you have on LinkedIn. And that is very powerful because it never goes into spam. The second benefit, which is a very powerful one, is that you also benefit from LinkedIn's domain authority and therefore the SEO, the search engine optimization is very strong for that newsletter that you published on LinkedIn. Because technically speaking, that newsletter is a blog post on the LinkedIn platform. And that means that if, for instance, you are a financial advisor and you talk about an investment opportunity, when someone searches financial investment opportunity in Texas and you happen to have those keywords in your LinkedIn newsletter subject line, which is equal to the title on LinkedIn, then you have a high chance of being found because the search results propagate to the top of the search engine results much, much faster when it is hosted on LinkedIn versus your own company page. So people understand the power of either landing right in someone's inbox when they consider the LinkedIn newsletter for the sole purpose of sending an email to subscribers and they understand the power of findability on the LinkedIn platform. And then they come to us and they ask, how about me just taking that very well developed content and also publish that on my company's blog? Let's say, for example, you have a page that is myinvestment.com and you have a blog on there and you're just very happy that you have content now. You can just take the LinkedIn newsletter and publish that on your website as well. Is that a good idea? And the answer is no, you should not do that. Why? Well, by posting the exact same content both on LinkedIn and on your website, what happens is that you are effectively competing with LinkedIn and your website does not have the same domain authority. So you have no chance of winning that game. And for those very same keywords, LinkedIn's result will always be above yours. And that is why it's not a good idea to take your LinkedIn newsletter and publish it as is on your own company page. However, what you can do is you can take that LinkedIn newsletter and then rewrite it just like we did at school in the past when we learned how to rewrite content in a way where you use your own words and your own rationale, but you keep the core ideas of the written work. So you rewrite it, you make sure that the keywords are still in your content, then you can actually post an additional blog post on your website. Is it just as easy as copy pasting the LinkedIn newsletter? No, it's not, but it still saves you loads of time especially if you make use of artificial intelligence, which actually I highly encourage you to do because you are not letting AI do the work for you. As a matter of fact, you took the time to write the initial LinkedIn newsletter and now you are using AI as a tool to make yourself faster, make your life a little bit easier. So and that is totally okay. That, in my opinion, is using AI in the way it was intended to. And that is a tool that just makes you more efficient and more creative. By doing so, you can build up your LinkedIn newsletter subscribership, you can get search traffic on LinkedIn, and you can also at the same time build up the findability, the SEO of your company page, your company internet page that is. And that is something that you may want to strive for. 
A word of caution though. For a lot of the people who view this video, it is important to say that it's probably not the best investment of your time to go and try and build SEO for your website. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad idea, but if you want results fast and also if you want to streamline your activities and put focus on something that gives you inbound leads fast, that gives you business fast, that gets you results fast, then I think especially at the beginning of your venture, you should maybe direct an, all your attention to LinkedIn. And then once you have gained some momentum and you can afford an additional team that works on your website, then you should do that. That's my answer to this question. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you again very, very soon here on this platform.